Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the horror corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and it's time to play. As we review the Hellraiser figure from NECA, and that is the ultimate pinhead. <laughs> there you have it, folks. I love that cover box art. It's so cool. I wish that was one of the movie posters. <laughs> Maybe it was. I'm not... I don't recall seeing that, though. I think they did a fantastic job on this figure, so congrats to NECA. Did a great job. A little closer look at the inside. Hope you guys can see that alright. Look at that detail. Of course, we'll give it a closer look. Now, of course, uh, Pinhead is a character created by uh, Clyde Barker. Uh, from his novel, The Hellbound Heart and used in the film Hellraiser and the many, many sequels <laughs> and played so brilliantly by Doug Bradley. Uh, one funny thing about uh, Pinhead is they don't often refer to him as Pinhead in the movie. We just kind of give him that name because <laughs> it's, it's appropriate. The man's got pins in his head. <laughs> Alright, let's get a closer look. What's inside the box? There's a little closer look there. Some more detail. Of course you have uh, the alternate head, the more mean looking pinhead. <laughs> it's got all different kinds of hands you can use. On all kinds of tools, the trade is murder weapons, and of course, the box, the lament configuration, the puzzle box that causes either pain or pleasure. <laughs> Let's take this bad boy out. And this one's is very easy to take out of the box, which is really cool. Some of them you have to wrestle with just to get them out of the plastic thing. <laughs> look at that. How cool is that, huh? Look at that. A closer look at his head there. Look at the detail. Beautiful, beautiful figure. And it's a great likeness of Doug Bradley in the, as, as the character, of course. He's even got the little strings in his belly there holding the ring in his <laughs> belly button. Or whatever. Uh... Such a cool character. It's got that element of S and M sadomasochism, that weird dark sexual nature, and the very goth, of course. <laughs> Angels to some, demons to other, and Pinhead is, of course, the leader of the Cenobites. And of course, we gotta give him the box, right? <laughs> It's got two versions of the box, too. One where it's kind of open with the puzzle. <sighs> Probably have a hard time keeping it in his hand, but you guys get the picture, right? <laughs> the box, you opened it, we came. <laughs> it is your flesh we wish to experience, not your skills of bargaining. <laughs> Trick us again, child, and you're suffering a legendary, even in hell. <laughs> He's got some of the best lines ever in horror, and that's Pinhead in, the, in at least the first two Hell Reason movies. In the third one, he had a lot of great lines, too. Of course, as the series goes on, it kind of loses something, you know. <laughs> Look at some of the weapons they have here. Well, there's the alternate head to the angry pinhead. Uh. <laughs> it's 
got that that nasty steel hook thing from the movie. Got some kind of knife there. It looks like Pinhead probably made it himself. It's definitely not like a kitchen knife or something. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know, some kind of hacksaw or something. Pretty cool though. But yeah, guys, what do you think? The ultimate pinhead. I think uh, NECA did a fantastic job in this figure. I absolutely love it. I love the detail. And it really represents Doug Bradley's pinhead, uh, who is such, such an amazing character, uh, brilliantly played by the actor, and uh, I, I just can't get enough of him. Even in, in the lesser sequels, the bad sequels, he's still like awesome. You know, you see Pinhead in the background, you know something. You know he's gonna say something cool or do something cool. <laughs> I love Pinhead, and I love uh, Hellraiser. Such a classic film. Uh, I think it's one of the greatest horror films of all time. One of the most original ideas for a horror film. And, uh, yeah, and, and I love Kirsty Cotton as well. It's a great one of the great final girls that you don't hear about as much. I get Andrew Robinson in the original. Such a great character as Frank and, uh, and as his brother, of course. Oh, and, of course, you got a menacing character in Julia as well. Another great villain in parts one and two. Uh, yeah, I, just, I can't say enough about Hellraiser, and I love this figure, and I will always cherish it. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know your review in the comments below. What do you think of the ultimate pinhead? We have such sights to show you. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared. Folks, don't forget to grab your Sean Patrick Urshan gear and represent the Horror Corner. Also, check out these awesome mugs we have. Perfect for your coffee. And definitely check out the Horror Hangout live stream t-shirt. And represent the legacy of the Horror Hangout. Check out the link in the description below of this video.